All right, I've got the two electrodes isolated in those acrylic spheres. Got the peacock ore sitting there and a piece of tiger iron there, and I've got a uh, uh, an any two voltmeter is basically what that is. Something you would stick into your house socket to see what kind of voltage is in that socket. Uh, and you can see that it's only lighting up when the primary gap uh, is discharging. But you can see that it's lighting up all the way, all of the lights, when it zaps over. And it's set up, that's a tiger iron, that's the peacock ore, and it's the acrylic spheres prevent that from jumping across. So that's what you see in there. Let's turn the light on, you can see what that looks like. The AC four eighty is the top one. And that's the configuration. Spatial disparity uh, of the charge. Sorry, I've been sick for a couple days. I kind of feel like shit, but anyway. The idea is that it's a spatial discharge, so, I don't know, now what I'm thinking is I might try setting up uh, some copper mesh and acrylic spheres to flesh out the amount of metal in there that's being caused to be ionized by the volt potential. Uh, and then I was also had the thought occur to me to potentially put sols in there, the gold sol or the silver sol, uh, and then potentially use like granulated copper along with those sols as collectors to see if that increases the uh, ability of the energy to be transmitted between the source, uh, volt disparity, and the collector, the volt collector. So, we will have to see how that looks. Hold on. It's off the meters, right? And it's drawn about 1.6 amps.